Hi and welcome to the screencast. This is your host Mohamed Azam and in this particular screencast I will show you that how you can create a hover menu um, for the grid view control. Okay. Let's add a page and I will just call that page default. Okay. And I can make that page also run it uh, as start page. But let's add a grid view and I can use my design viewer here to create a grid view. So I'm just going to drag grid view. So the basic purpose right now is to populate a grid view with some dummy data. So you can use any kind of source. I'm just using SQL data source because it's much quicker for this particular demo. And I can select categories, description, test security. And now this particular task, it will also display a add an extender. So let's click on that and add a hover menu extender. And if you go and see the code behind, you will see that the hover menu extender is actually added to the page, not inside the grid view, okay, to the page. Let's uh, build this. Now what I have to do is include the ASP.NET script manager. So script manager is basically the uh, brains behind the AJAX control toolkit and also the MS AJAX framework. Next, what I'm gonna do is add a panel, oops. So panel ID is equal to, let's say, pop up one. And I can say back color is yellow. Of course, uh, you, you have to, you know, it's a much better idea if you create your panel much more, well, attractive, all right? And I can say this is a pop up control. I'm gonna take that ID of the pop up one and assign it to the pop up control ID. Let's run the page. So now, if I hover over any of the items, you will see that the pop-up control will display on the upper left corner. All right? Now, I don't really want that because it's overlapping with other things. What I want is that when I go over a certain thing, it will take up the description column and display the description over there. So the first task is to remove the description from there because we will display it in our pop-up column. Let's add a template field. And what we will do is contain, we will put the panel inside the template field. And inside the panel, we can say this, eval description. Also in the style, I can say um, display is equal to hidden or none. Display is basically none. Okay. Other thing what I have to do is to also drag the hover menu extender inside the item template Okay, and assign it to a good ID, like I, we can have an ID like hover menu. Now what I want to do is to assign the target control ID of the hover menu to the current row. Okay, let's build that first. So I have to do that in the grid view row created event. So let's capture that event. If we go to the events, you will find the row created. Just going to implement that. So in this, we have to see that if grid view row or e dot row dot I think it's like row type data row. So if it's data row, then what we have to do is we need to first get the hover menu extender. Okay, menu. And we have to find that in the row. Find control. The control is menu. And I can actually cast it to this particular control. Now the next thing is to assign the ID. To row.id will be equal to e.row.rowindex to string. And the final thing is this.row target control ID 
equal to e dot row dot id okay let's go ahead over here to the html source and see what we have done so we've added a template field and inside the item template what i have done is added a panel the same panel and now it describes displays the description so the description column from the first take is now gone other thing is that the uh, hover menu extended is also added into inside the item template let's run this and see what happens oops okay so it's kind of working so you can actually see that right now when I hover on different uh, items I can see the description okay let's go ahead and uh, do one more thing which is in the hover menu extender over here I can say that where to display that particular thing so position equal to right and here we go so you can see that the last one so you actually we can see that the column is actually displays onto the right hand side and all the things are actually being displayed onto the right hand side that's pretty much it and you can actually decorate your uh, your pop-up in a much nicer way okay so I hope you like this video tutorial and thank you very much